Walk a con, let me rock you, let me rock you, walk a con. Let me rock you, that's all I wanna do. Walk a con, let me rock you, let me rock you, walk a con. Hi guys, it's Hacksaw Jack here with Jimmy Lou. We're at the Walker Stalker Con in New Jersey. New Jersey, New York. Uh, we're gonna try to talk to a couple people and uh, hopefully they're Rick and Glenn fans. All right. All right, guys, we're here with Tyler James Williams, who plays Noah on The Walking Dead. What do you think of Walker Stalker, New Jersey? Oh, uh, it's fantastic. You know, I'm from New York, so it's good to see like a bunch of people from you know around my area. It's just fantastic to meet everybody. All right, guys, I'm here with Melissa Hutchison, who is Clementine on The Walking Dead game by Telltale, and she is still not bitten. How are we doing? Right, I'm still not bitten. I'm doing great. What do you, what do you think of Walker Stalker, New Jersey? It's been fantastic. Uh, they're all fantastic. But this one, I've been meeting just an insane amount of fans of the game, and they are all such awesome people. And I'm having a great time, and I'm happy to see you guys. All right, guys, we're with Daniel Thomas May. First of all, if this was a real zombie apocalypse, and you could choose one character from The Walking Dead to go with you, who would it be and why? Well, I, I would go with Rick. I would go with Rick. I like yeah. this guy. <laughs> I think by default one has to say Daryl or risk the ire of, uh, of Walking Dead fans, but uh, but yeah, I'll go with Rick. And it's important to note he didn't say Glenn. <laughs> so, uh, who would it be and why? Michonne, because she's awesome, fearless, and she's beautiful. Well, if it has to be one, it's Michonne. If it has to be two, it'll be Mich Michonne and Sasha, because, you know, Sasha's my boo. So I gotta bring Sasha. But, but no guy power like uh, Rick and Glenn, maybe? I am the guy power. What are you talking about? <laughs> well said, folks. From Lawrence Gilliard, Bob Stuckey himself. <laughs> who would it be and why? Huh, who would it be and why? I take Sasha, actually. She's a sharpshooter. You need somebody with a really good shot. Everybody else is, don't get me wrong, like Daryl's a beast and, and all. And that's what everybody's probably going to say. And I'm Rick. Sasha. Yeah. Oh, what about Glenn? Oh, absolutely. I mean, everybody's been through, but I think Sasha's journey was quickest to just be ready for what the world was. I'd probably take Sasha. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to do Game Man Show, so can I do two characters? Okay, one from the game, right. one from the show. Because, you know, my world's different. Uh, Lee uh, from Good answer. the game. And Michonne. Why Michonne? She's badass. She's a warrior. She's got, like, katanas. I was calling them samurai swords. But now Rick has six bullets. Is that... Uh, <laughs> and Glenn has a riot gear. <laughs> Sorry, God, I forgot who I was standing next to. This is our video. I and she's mean, Glenn and, and Rick, of course. Glenn and Rick. <laughs> We're going to edit all this in post. Who would it be and why? Wow. That's an awesome question. The um, mythic hero from uh, the books, Lily Call, because she is the closest thing to my wife, Jill, who would protect me. Jill would protect me from all zombies, and I'd be able to survive thanks to her. <laughs> I think he just earned some bonus points right now, folks. I know. I'm shameless. <laughs> I'm a shameless husband looking to curry favor with his newlywed wife. <laughs> but she is. But Lily is based on Jill, my my wife. Absolutely. And I, I started I started developing this character who just appears in the comic almost almost abruptly. She just like boom. She's there in the comic, and you're like, who is this Lily chick? You know. And she and she does something really amazing, which I won't, I won't, I won't spoil it for anybody who hasn't read it. But then I'm like, I have to create a real person around this. I have to make this woman a real person, you know. And I and I happen to be wooing my wife at the time, you know. And she just fit. She had, she was badass. She had you know, ripped jeans. She she was like a thrift shop hipster, cool chick, you know. I just you know, she was like Lily. She became Lily. So pretty much you're saying if you have a crush on someone, write them into a novel and they will marry you, right? Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. The best dating advice you'll hear all weekend at Walker Stalker Con. <laughs> Who's it going to be and why? To be honest, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd grab Dale. He's probably not the first choice for many people. He's, he's a great storyteller. He's, he's really interesting. I believe he's a survivor. And he's got that RV. And I think we would actually have a really good time trucking around and avoiding the zombies. 
we wouldn't interact and fight as much. If you were on the writing team for the show, Walking Dead, is there any plot points that you might have changed? Oh, God, another great question. I would not have killed Dale. I miss Dale and his RV. I, I can't tell you how much I miss that RV for some reason. I don't know why. There's like, I have this like melancholy feeling in my, in my heart when we lost Dale. They're the senior citizens of the bad? group, right? <laughs> exactly. You gotta take care I'm of your senior older. citizens. I'm aging. I, I, I identify with those guys. So if Dale and Jim weren't part of the Walking Dead group, do you think they would have survived a lot longer by themselves? Not necessarily, but I think they would have enjoyed themselves. It would have been a nice, nice, relaxing apocalypse. So uh, I know you can't tell us anything about the second half of the season, but what are you excited about for Noah's character? I'm excited to see him fold into the group. You know, that's really now he can become, you know, an essential part of in you know, a role player, and that's just really what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> All right, so we're going to see you in other Walker Stalker cons, hopefully. I sure hope so. Next stop, San Francisco. That's my jam. Very excited for it. All right, thank you, Melissa. Yeah, thank you for you your time. Yeah, yeah, thank you. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for watching my video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope to be making some more videos like this in the future, so be sure to click the red subscribe button. Uh, also, hit me up on social media at Hacksaw Jack, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. That's H A K S A W J A K. And um, if you want more information about Walker Stalker Con, hit us up at walkerstalkercon.com. We're going to be in seven cities across the country in 2015. So be sure to check that out, especially if you're fans of The Walking Dead. So look forward to seeing you soon. Subscribe.